Okay, guys, quick look here at this 2012 question, what's uh, referred to as uh, the Titanic building question, I guess. So what you're asked to do there is set up the planes there and find the heights for C and E. Okay, so that was a key thing there, was finding the, the heights for uh, those points C and E there that you can see in the front view, and then get the dihedral angle and the horizontal and vertical traces of the ABEF. Okay, so um, I've just set that up there now. Okay, now the problem I suppose or the trick with this is when you're looking down on top of this, if I just shade in maybe one of those things there, Okay, so I'll just shade in one of them planes here, right? So what you've got there is that's a sloping plane, which is an oblique plane. But this was really searching to understand one thing and one thing only okay this is point a and that's point d i'll just heavy that in a bit there a d and c and b okay but the thing is b is up in the air and so is c but we don't know the height of it but a and d are along the ground okay so that's the horizontal trace a d like if you're looking down into this and AD is along the ground and there is a rule in graphics that any line parallel to the horizontal trace is horizontal in elevation. And so that's the angle of the horizontal trace. So if I go parallel to that That line there is a horizontal line in elevation. So I'm going to call this point here point X. Now we know that X is on the AB line. So if I project that up there, I'll just put it in dotted. So that there is the height of point X, and we know that C <coughs> is at the same height as that. So that now allows me to find point C in elevation by just going horizontal here. So that is the height of point C, which also gives me the height of point F. And if you copped that, I suppose, if you if you copped that right from the start, or if you understood that right from the start, well then setting that up is easy. So that's C, D, and F. Okay, sorry guys, slight mistake there, I just paused that. Um, e, sorry, is the point that's up in the air. E is the point that's up in the air. So... E goes to F, which is on the ground. Whoops. Okay, so E goes to F. And that goes up to B. And C goes to B. Okay, so I suppose I could put this line in red in the elevation as well. So all of that goes back to understanding 
Leave these horizontal on the ground like that where the set square meets the horizontal plane and any line parallel to that is a horizontal line in the front view that's the basis of it so we went parallel to that brought it up and then parallel back along so i will just put this in in red there for the benefit of people that are trying to understand this okay so that's how we found our heights for C and for E. Now, the next thing there then it asked for was the dihedral angle. Okay, so the line of intersection is AB. Okay, AB is the line of intersection. So what I want to do there now is get the true length of that line of intersection. I'll just index this A and B. So here is AB. I'm going to set up an XY line. Just look along that. So just take some heights now. Luckily, a lot of these points are on the ground. So I'm gonna just take the ones that are up in the air, first of all. So we're projecting from this view, the last X, Y line back. That's where the distances are coming from. So here's our height for B. Here is my height for C. I'm gonna mark that first. Because that really is the there's some of the some of the key points on it, but so there's B going to C. And that's also E. Okay, so both of those points are there. D and F are down on the ground here. And A is here on the ground. Going to be. Okay, so that there is our points. So there's A on the ground. And that's uh, D and F. I'll just label them inside a D and F. Okay, so this here is the true length of the line of intersection. So we want to look along that and get ourselves a point view of it. So we're going to look along. The next Y line just beyond. So I'll just bring these out now while I am set up. Okay, now we are projecting from this view. So it's from our last X, Y line back. That is the rule. So I'll just take compass here. So I'll take our distance for A and B. Now that's my distance for B and the distance for A. So when I look along A, B, that is gonna give me a point view. And that is what I was looking for. That is the key thing. That's the point view of AB. Now really, I only need one point from each of these other planes. So, 
that's my distance for f and d That's F, that is D, and that one point on each plane would do me so really that's my dihedral angle there. But if you wanted to double check, you know, to make sure that you're right. Because we're getting an edge view of the plane, if I take my distance for C, and my distance for E, which is a very small distance here, they should also be on those edge views. So if I extend these lines out, they should also be on it. So that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so this here is my dihedral angle. I'll just indicate that there. Okay. So that's the dihedral angle between the planes. So finally there now they wanted the traces for A, B, E, F. Now again, A, B, E, F is this plane here. Now, I said right in the beginning, if you understood this, A, F is running along the ground. You're looking down into this, okay? So A, F is the horizontal trace. Okay, so I might just use a uh, color there like I'll use green. So AF is the horizontal trace. So I'm going to just so that's our horizontal trace. And again, there then just to find a point on the vertical trace. Um, so the easiest way is to run, just do our parallel line. So if I go parallel to the horizontal trace, which is the same idea as what we used in the beginning, if I go parallel to the horizontal trace and I run B, into the vertical plane, which is here. Okay, so that's parallel to the trace, so it's going to be a horizontal line in the elevation. And that there is my point. And this here is the vertical trace. Vertical trace. Because what I suppose I could, <clears throat> I could use a color here maybe to help you again. Um, there is the horizontal trace of the AF, EB, ABEF plane here. There's the horizontal trace by going parallel to the horizontal trace, which is what I did here. That's parallel to the horizontal trace. That's going to be a horizontal line in elevation, the same height as B. So, same height as B, horizontal. So I brought that across and it hit the vertical plane here. So hit the vertical plane at the same height as B, so that's on the vertical plane. So that's my trace. So I hope that's of assistance to you guys.
See you later.